So I bet this has happened to you at some point. Your room is disgusting and one of your friends tells you they're coming over in like 30 minutes and then you have a quick dash to tidy everything up. Well, hopefully this video should help you out with that. So this is what it looked like in my room before I started tidying up. These tips are not for deep cleaning at all, so bear that in mind, they're just for if you are in a hurry. So let's get started. So should you be listening to music and listening to that one song by the Chainsmokers on repeat again and again? Probably not if you're going to be doing something like this, so turn it off or listen to something really relaxing. My first tip is to start by making the bed because this is the biggest thing and it will make you feel really accomplished if you get it done. Plus, it might be full of stuff. So I just start by clearing off all of the stuff and all of the pillows and just throwing them on the floor and making the bed really quickly. You obviously won't have time to wash the sheets, but just make sure it looks pretty presentable. And then if you want to go and freshen them up, you can use some room spray or some Febreze or something on the sheets to make them smell good. Next, it is so important to take out all of your trash, so get rid of all of those empty bottles and crisp packets and just gross stuff all over your room. Put them in a bag and get rid of them, that way your room should smell a lot better. And while you're at it, now is a really good time to take out all the plates and the bowls that have collected in your room and take them downstairs. Clothes are the biggest problem in my room, they kind of just accumulate everywhere, do your future self a favor and don't put all these clothes in one big pile and stuff them into a drawer. At least try and sort them out if you can. So all I'm doing is making some piles, sniffing them to check if they're dirty or not. And all the clean ones or the ones that I've only worn for a couple of minutes, I'm going to put in another pile. I made three piles to make it easier on myself later and one was clean clothes, one was clean loungewear and one was dirty clothes. So I then took the piles and put them away. I put the dirty clothes in a hamper to get rid of them and then I took a basket this is a trick that I like to do and I put all of my clean clothes in the basket nice and folded so they don't look too bad but it saves me having to put them all in all of the correct drawers and hang them up on hangers Next, you're going to want to clear the surfaces because this is a big problem area if your room is as messy as mine. So start by taking the big things that you can put away really quickly like hair straighteners and things like that. And then you can go ahead and start taking the smaller items and put them in one big pile so you don't lose them. I recommend putting them in like a catch-all dish or something. And anything that doesn't have a home, put it in a pile like on your bed. Then you're going to go ahead and store these items that are in the pile. So like I said, catch all dish for the jewellery and I use this box as my junk box. If you saw my last tidying video, I have a junk drawer for situations like this, <laughs> but just make sure you clean it out ASAP. And just put things back in their correct places. I like to store my stationery in glass jars if I have any spare because they're free. And I also like to put all of my notebooks and paperwork in one big pile. Now onto the good stuff, cleaning. You're gonna wanna clean the surfaces to get rid of any dust or gross stuff. And you can do a really quick job of this. I like to use cleaning wipes when I'm doing this in a rush because they're just so easy. And then if you have time, go ahead and vacuum the floor because this will make a huge difference as well. If not, just pick up all the gross little bits of paper off your floor if you can. And that is it. My room is pretty tidy and nice and presentable if anyone was to come over. Like I said, this is not deep cleaning. Make sure after doing this, you do deep clean your room and get rid of all the clutter. But yeah, so this is what my room looked like at the end. And do let me know if you guys want to see a room tour because I would love to do that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.